What up? <laughs> Hold on, let me get sure I'm in frame. <laughs> yeah, we're all here. Okay, cool. Yo, happy big well, Tuesday. Sadly, it wasn't Monday. I was busy doing stuff. And I'm like, it was kind of crazy because, like, I got home, like, really late last night. And I was like, I don't really want to watch Shumatsu and Spicy <laughs> I was like, in my mind, I was like, this is going to suck because I'm not going to be able to watch it. <laughs> and so, yeah, I ended up falling asleep and I was just, just like, turtling down. But yeah, this is bringing us to episode 11 of Train, Train to the End of the World. And it's crazy because I'm pretty sure this show is only 12 episodes. So I'm gonna, I'm curious how the pacing of this episode is going to be in order to close out the show. Uh, I kind of don't remember. Oh yeah, no, no. The last episode was the... I was like, that's why this image is here. It gives me a reminder. <laughs> where they, they fought the... the, the mo I don't know if they were manga artists. Like, they had like a bunch of artists and they were just battling each other via the power of their artistic styles. And But yeah, the big thing about it is that they made it to Ikebukuro, right? I don't remember if they met Yoko, Yuka, Yako. You know what I'm talking about. But I kind of just really want to go into it because I've been like eagerly waiting for this episode. So I'm going to just start right away, all right? Um, oh yeah, Pulsar and how this works is that there's a playback timer. And that's a playback timer for where I am in the episode. So if you want to mirror the timers with you, like whatever you're watching, that's all you do. It's like, you know, you get my live reaction. It's a pretty good deal. All right, so let's set it up. All right, here we go. So watch. I'm going to press play in three, two, one, go. And ta da, we're at the opening. And yeah, there's no footage. That's how it is. Dude, they keep looking all warped up. I'm gonna accept the owl people that are maybe made out of wood. Wait, are they not in Ikebukuro? And that's the train that they're on? Oh, wait, never mind. I thought they were in Ikebukuro. <laughs> Shizuru is determined. Max speed. I always wondered how fast those trains can go. That's like a local line train. Oh, wait. Oh. That's the end, right? They are committed now. Is this, this Ikebukuro? Fukuro? Is that why? Because Ikebukuro and Fukuro? Like, Fukuro is owl. I wonder if that's related. Oh, right. I forgot this opening. Wait, that's not the opening. Oh, no. They delay. Wait. Mm-hmm. This intro always kind of like gets me. Revive. I don't know if I'd ever do this in a karaoke. Man, look at all these characters they've seen. But like, remember what I was saying, right? This the show wraps up. It's an original series, so it should be over within the next two episodes. I'm really hoping it has a nice clean ending.
I like her hair. Wait, what? Oh, I know. I thought that was her. <laughs> I'm like mesmerized by her like design. <laughs> what is this alarm? It reminds me like a, like one of those like wind up toys. <laughs> Wait, isn't the guy like kind of like her dog? Let the scene happen. Getting the the Thanos vibes. Whoop, 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 whoop. Where's the 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 seven G guy? I'm really curious because he doesn't didn't intercept right now. Like he's not trying very hard, so like Of wibble wobble surgery. I forgot about it. They call it the wibble wobble. When they uh, cut up his brain. I was kind of half expecting her to try to punch the the the, the, the energy, just like give it a shin show you can. What are you doing? There you go, yeah, that's looking for this guy. I forgot, like, the whole reason why this is still happening to her is because he doesn't want to get in trouble for what he did. Wait, wait, is it just gonna work? I was assuming like that they're gonna get the, the text prompt. Hey, this is the final boss. 
save before you enter this area. Nope. <laughs> I don't do well with these kind of characters, I just like scummy for being scummy. Why is it moving? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> cool, you're like, yo. Shut up. They're gonna have to murder her. I feel. I feel it. Oh, or hit the button. Isn't it just in her room? It is, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, they're parked, huh? I just realized. They actually are stopped, okay. Holy, that got me so bad. Oh, hello.
Did you get a joy in? <laughs> yeah, I wonder because, like, it's just a button, right? But it has to lead to a machine. Oh, the department store at the very beginning, when she pressed the button. Yeah. I love how I do faces in this show. Oh, it's kind of it is pretty sad to see she's really like all bent up. Wait. Were they in? Wait, so is the button not in her room? I mean, it makes sense for the button to be in Ikebuk of oh, the Privy Zombies. <laughs> I guess she's always just resorts to violence. I like that picture in the fright.
Hmm. Isn't they a proton? Photon? <clears throat> a boton? Oh, wait. What? I wonder if it has to be Yoko that has to push it. So I, I think they're, I wonder if they're gonna push the button and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, aren't they like? Boss fight? <laughs> Man, and you came out swinging on this little girl. Oh, I'm so confused with the button. I mean, not really, but. Oh, they're all do. Ooh. Is she gonna get suplexed? Oh no! Where's um uh... Akira? No, there she is. Nothing happened, huh? Oh, wait. No. I don't know why I'm getting like Garfield vibes from those hands. <laughs> Is that eerie? Is this their train? It's not their train, right? This is where it's gonna end, isn't it? God damn it. Ah. Uh... Oh. Oh, so much hinges on the last episode for me for this show. Oh. I hope it has a good ending. I'm sorry. I just like for me, like, I was thinking about this yeah, like, the other day when I was thinking how I can't watch this show and like. A lot of times, I, I like to spend a lot of time thinking about how uh, how a show ends is like really important to me in terms of like, because like I, I kind of value like when I think of an anime that I, <clears throat> I think we all can kind of compartmentalize how we feel about an anime, right? But something I like to do a lot of times when I view anything or any amount of, like amount of entertainment is how would I recommend it, right? That's something I like to do a lot of times with myself is. This, visualize like categories of like degrees that I would recommend a show to right so like typically like I have I have my the sister tier right which is, she doesn't care about anime at all but like what I recommend like an anime to her or whatever and when I make that kind of tier list I really value how a show ends because like I don't want to give a show to someone 
recommend a show that feels open-ended and then they ask for more and they're like oh there's not and that, you know what i mean i really want to avoid that scenario and i'm really hoping that this show can wrap up in a nice way i'm really fingers crossed that this show can wrap up in a really nice way fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed and so that's just my biggest hope right now, just having the show wrap up properly. Because when I, I was thinking, like, when you think about how this show has been, right? It's like it's like, like a linear path, right? Their, their goal is just go to Ikebukuro, right? They're in Ikebukuro now, right? But every adventure they had on the way was so outrageous in every, every direction, right? Every episode was just like, over here, over here. And they're all just wild adventures, right? And it, it, it's been, just been, like, zany all the way through. And... It's so hard for me to like, like put the show in a box because it's it's so like r complicated. <laughs> like it's emotionally complicated. I think like to watch because it's it's like I said. I think the the most I think this is in the seinen category too. This is not like a shonen. This is not like a shoujo. It's like in its own little category for like you know, and I love how it fe like it's. It's always feels like it's hard to pinpoint the the show's feel, right? That's like the thing I think the the show has in spades is that like each episode feels very, very. I think the last one actually feels pretty settled because like it's literally, hey, we made it to our goal, and so how do I feel? She doesn't remember me. She does she hate me? And so you know, anyway, the feelings are very simple to understand, right? But like when you have like all the other zany adventures, it's really complicated because it's cute girls dealing with really complicated things. And now it's now it's just I don't know. I I, I mean, how complicated is the end of the world for? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, either way, I want. I, I'm just just really hoping this show wraps up well. I'll do a, a more concise like wrap up video probably for the next episode. I'll probably give, I'll gather my thoughts a little bit more thoroughly and I'll make a little bullet point for that last episode. Because I think this is a show is kind of interesting for a a discussion, and I'm I really want to figure out to which degree I would recommend this show. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this show is doing well for all of you guys. I'm I'm still, I mean I, I like this show. I think this show is great. It's just like I'm just curious how how well I'm gonna, I'm gonna go I'm gonna be optimistic here. How well they'll stick the landing for this the end of this show. All right, I'm Pulsar. You guys take care of yourselves. I'm gonna do a. Uh, Spice and Wolf as soon as possible. It might not be out today, though. I'm a little busy, but hopefully we can get it out. If not, it'll be out tomorrow on a Wednesday. All right, take care of yourselves. Much love. Peace out.